Tip is won by Orlando, and we're underway from Oakland. Glad that you could join us here. Happy Sunday to you all as we close out week one of the Novato Project. It's Orlando and Golden State, last two teams to make their debuts this season. Pondexter with the ball down low to Chris Bosch, who gets his own rebound, goes up, misses again. In comes Pondexter. And that was Azili Harden getting those that first and second chance opportunity, but the possession finally ends with Mario Chalmers. The Orlando Magic made up of players who did not play in the NBA in the 2016-17 season. Some of them have made their return. For instance, starter, uh, starting shooting guard Julian Stone, currently on the Hornets, for instance, but other players still waiting for that call, like Festus Azili, the starting center, who already has uh, two rebounds to his name. Shot is missed. Rebound by Orlando. Pondexter missed two seasons before returning to the Bulls this year. Good to see him make his comeback. That was due to dealing with injuries. He'll hope to help the Magic be competitive in the Novato project. Chris Bosch, actually him this time, making the making going up for the shot to draw the foul. Chris Bosch started off his career wearing the number four, coming out of Georgia Tech to the Toronto Raptors. He's already becoming an all-star caliber player there. Then things stepped up when he teamed up with LeBron James and Dwayne Wade in Miami for four seasons. And then after LeBron James left after that fourth season, Chris Bosch remained for a couple more years, but then medical problems, particularly blood clots in his lungs, were preventing him from staying on the floor for an extended amount of time. And now he's been bought out by the Miami Heat and is essentially retired. However, he's still available in 2K18 to play with. And so here he is, and he's going to be leading this Magic squad to see if they can be competitive against this balanced team that is the Golden State Warriors here in the Nevada Project. Lillard, hometown kid, step back jumper over Chalmers. And no good. Rebound down low. Nurkic goes up and in. The two Blazer teammates make the first two points of the game happen for the Warriors. Chalmers up the floor. Over to Stone. Pondexter pop out. Straight away three. No good. Collected by Durant. Here's Lillard. Driving against Chalmers, steps back to create some space, rattles out. Cold start so far for the Warriors. Pass ahead, Stone. And Lillard, trying to sneakily swipe the ball from behind, ended up being called for the reach-in foul. The Warriors here in the Novato Project, filled with two-way players. All the players one through four can shoot the three. And the center's on the team, really tall seven-footers that can protect the rim. So that's what Orlando will have to deal with today. Chalmers on the wing. Opposite wing, Pondexter. Solid screen from Bosch, but can't get past Durant. Has to force something up and corralled by Aaron Gordon. Ahead to Lillard. Lillard pushing it into the front court. Magic have numbers. Up top, Gordon, he'll put up the three. Misses off the front of the rim. He's improved as a three-point shooter in recent seasons. Wearing the Magic jersey that he's playing against today. Definitely coming into his own. Chalmers, wing three is good. Outside shot is going to be key to keeping up with the Warriors offense whenever it gets going. Turnaround fadeaway. Great contest by Pondexter. Usually hard to defend those th uh, fadeaway shots, especially from guys as tall as Durant. Pondexter driving inside. Met with traffic. 
Almost converted, couldn't. And Kevin Durant with the rebound. Kevin Durant, JaVale McGee, the two actual Warriors that are on this Novato Project Warriors roster. Didn't have to change jerseys at all. McGee will likely come in later in the game. Durant, straightaway three. Able to close the gap. Slow start for Golden State up until that point. Two points over the past three minutes and 45 seconds. Lazili nearly losing the ball and tied up with Damian Lillard. Lillard not afraid of the impending jump ball. Not an even matchup here. 6-3 against seven feet. And predictably, the tip is won by Azili. Azili himself, a former Golden State Warrior. Won a title with the team. Pondexter loses the ball on his way up. Here come the Warriors into the front court. It's Jonathan Simmons driving in and drawing the foul on Stone. We've seen some great poster moves. Some great poster slams from Jonathan Simmons in the few years that he's been at the NBA at the in the NBA. He had a long road to get break. there. But played collegiately at Houston in addition to a few community colleges if I'm not mistaken. Took a gamble on himself in free agency. And eventually signed with the Orlando Magic. So he's playing against the team he actually plays for. And we will see if it's paid off. He's a hard worker, so, you know, even if he has a rough start, that's not going to discourage him. And the Warriors take the lead. 5-0 run. Quick little 5-0 run for the Warriors to right the ship for themselves. Pondexter going baseline. Stopped by Nurkic. Has to kick it out. Chalmers corner three. No good. Pulled down by Nurkic. Over to Lillard. He'll try his hand at a corner three. That won't go. And Simmons not there for the putback. Orlando bringing it up the floor. Here's Chalmers trying to take on Lillard. Back outside of Zeely. Reverses it to Stone. Chalmers, time running out. Pushes up a shot. Misses Azili. Goes back up. Can't draw the foul. Rebound into the hands of Durant. Ahead to Lillard. Right past Chalmers for the lay-in. 7-0 run. Six and a half remaining here in the opening frame. Azili handoff Pondexter. Inside, pull up in front of the free throw line and Nurkic with another board. Durant trying to push ahead, but stopped by Pondexter. Durant showing on the block. Gets it from Simmons. Kicks it out, Gordon. Contested three straight away as the shot clock ran out. Here's Bosch. Up top, Chalmers open. Was closed out by Lillard at the last moment, but Azili there for the offensive board. Chalmers driving. Inside. Hands it off to Bosch. He'll just take on Gordon and won't work out. Orlando in a major scoring drought over the past 340 and counting. Meanwhile, the Warriors on a 7-0 run. Simmons couldn't extend it. See if Magic, the Magic can stem the tide here. They've had a decent defensive performance so far. Only a nine points allowed over the past half of the quarter. Lillard tried to... Tried to lob one up to Aaron Gordon, and Gordon wasn't ready for it. Jumped late, and there's a turnover by the Warriors. 5-10 remaining in the first quarter. 
We'll see if the new lineups can infuse some more offense. For Orlando, things don't get easier. Goran Dragic coming off of the bench as well as Nicholas Batum. Another miss, another Nurkic rebound. Durant, however, still in the game. Nurkic. Oh, the pick and roll can't be completed. It was beautifully done. As Dragic was able to bring in two defenders that were attempting to stop him. They left Nurkic wide open on the roll. But the transaction could not be completed. Josh Smith's screen eventually inside and back out again. Walters going to have to create. He used to have to all the time when he played collegiately at South Dakota State in the Summit League, but wasn't able to make the shot there. Cross court to the corner. Gordon knocking it down. That's a 10-0 run. A slow building 10-0 run to be exact for the Warriors here in the first quarter. A lot of ugly offense in this first quarter. Ball down low, Bosch back out, Larkin leaving him open isn't good. Tipped and back in. So the run, the unabated run ends at 10 points. But the Warriors gonna continue, gonna look to continue to score. Doesn't on that possession, here's Walters. Driving against Batum. Larkin open again. And that time he knocks down the three. Orlando back within one. Here's Batum. Up top, Dragic. One on one against Walters. Gordon in the corner. Contested. Batum there for the offensive board. Gets the shot and the foul. And that'll be Larkin's first. So an interesting decision for Dragic to dump out to a contested man in the corner. But in the end, it leads to Batum cleaning up underneath and being rewarded with a free throw. Here's JaVale McGee in the game. Seven-footer. Raised mostly in Michigan. Played collegially at Nevada. A few hours down the highway from here. Batum able to knock down the and one. Jakar Sampson inbounds. Just entered the game. Another Josh Smith screen facing up here against Batum. Larkin on the wing. Pulls up another three-pointer. Josh Smith called for the loose ball foul. So here's the inbound for McGee. Kyle Kuzma in the game. Late first round pick in this year's NBA draft, but he's gotten a lot of buzz as Dragic knocks down the long range three. Nice find by Batum. Wheel starting to turn for both sides, but it's the Warriors that's ahead by seven. Larkin, another three. Unafraid, but it won't work out. Number three overall pick, Jason Tatum gets the rebound. Shot in transition, that's a long two by Dragic, but still money. Walters up the floor for Orlando. Warriors starting to create space, but Bosch back in the game. Going to see how he operates. Larkin's been chucking up shots. Hasn't been working. 25% from outside. Tries his hand inside, and it won't go. One of five. Undoubtedly cold. Minute 20. Nine-point game. 
Kuzma up top. Down low McGee. Kick out Batum. Three-pointer. Can't sink it. Orlando in transition. Warriors have numbers. And that gives Walters pause. Finds Larkin. Treating back. Under a minute remaining here in the quarter. Sidestep shot won't go for Bosch. Batum pushes it ahead. Another mid-ranger by Dragic. Rolls in and out. Tatum back to Dragic. Not afraid to shoot the mid-range again. And it still won't go. In an era of shooting threes and attacking the basket, that mid-range shot is becoming much more of a premium. But you still need that in your arsenal to keep the defense honest. Otherwise, you may just limit yourself. Larkin pulls up from mid-range, and that won't go. One of six here in the first quarter for Shane Larkin. Tatum trying to push the tempo, but Orlando back in time. Dragic in the corner. Kick out. Kuzma, three. Almost, not quite. Rebound by Larkin, and that's the quarter. Slow start for both sides, but the Warriors pull ahead with a 10-0 run of their own. They're ahead 20-11 after one here on the Crucial Baskets Network. Back in Oakland, 22-11, a rough start offensively for both sides. Golden State 7-23 from the field in the first, 30% shooting. Meanwhile, Orlando even worse, 4-23 from the field for 17%. We'll see if both sides can get better here in the second quarter. Golden State starting off with possession, but the time's running out. Forced long two, I believe that would have been if it went in. Missed. Orlando's first offensive possession of the quarter here. It's Sampson on the wing. Reverse to Larkin. Working inside. One of six was Larkin in the first quarter. Now here's Sampson forcing up a shot. No good. Pulled down by McGee. Tatum facing up. Works it to Kuzma, who was intending to set the screen, and that didn't work out. Bosch facing up. Fade away. Bounces around and in. That's five points for Bosch. A combined 12 of 50 from the field are both teams. And that doesn't help either. Here's Josh Smith. Played in China last season, did Josh Smith. And actually played a few games with the Pelicans this year based off of the hardship exception. But he's back to being a free agent as Shane Larkin finally knocks down his second field goal of the game. That one inside the line. Batum step back over Vander Blue. No good rebound by Smith. Sampson pushing ahead, and Orlando will set up their offense. Underneath, good cut by Larkin, and he can't finish the job. And now it's Tatum getting blocked. Good block by Smith. Now here's Vander Blue, his first appearance into the game. And off Larkin. Shoots behind the Bosch screen, and that won't fall. Warriors building a new arena in San Francisco, set to be open in a couple years. They could use a few bricks from this game. Batum stops the bleeding, knocks down a three in the corner. 23-15, three minutes and 20 seconds into the second quarter. Bosch loses the ball in the paint. Here comes Kuzma, pulls up. 
from just outside the post. Lead grows to 10. That is the largest of the game. Previous record was nine. And now Orlando going to see if they can stem the tide. We'll be back after this. More substitutions in the game here. See if that can get an offensive rhythm going for either side. Interception by Kuzma on the pass in intended for Smith. Here's Simmons facing up on Chalmers. What's the next move? He'll dish it off to Lillard instead, see if he can create something. They were expecting the screen. Great anticipation by Orlando, and they get the steal. Here comes Vander Blue taking it inside. Kick out Chalmers in the corner. No good. Another extended scoring drought here for Orlando, and they're starting to pay for it dearly as Golden State is starting to pick up on offense. Top step shot over Tatum, no good for Azili. Pulls up and no good. Rebound by Azili. Smith, post move. Oh, blocked by Tatum and out of bounds. Possession will remain with Orlando, but that was a tone setter right there. And now Tatum will head out of the game. That's a great way to go out. Nine on the shot clock as Orlando inbounds. Going to have to come up with something quickly. It's Pondexter straight away two. Won't go Azili offensive board up and in. Question coming into this game, of course, Chris Bosh was supposed to be the big offensive engine for this team, but when he's out, it's a matter of who else is going to step up. Lillard alone in the corner, and he makes Chalmers pay. Thirty to seventeen. Golden State starting to pick up steam. Can Orlando follow suit? Baseline floater, good by Pondexter. Now pops Gordon, ball reverse. Lillard, he's just going to take the shot from there. Rebound Nurkic. Their Blazer teammates, Nurkic knew where to go off the miss. And he's able to put up the second chance bucket. Oh, stolen by Gordon off the screen. And Durant taking it to the rack and drawing the foul. Julian Stone called for the infraction. Got a feel for Julian Stone. Huge height difference between the two. Stone wanted to appear fearless there as the Durantula was coming at him. Not a lot of choices. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. And instead picked up the One foul. Shot. Golden State has the opportunity to extend their lead to 16. And he does. Timeout, timeout. And Frank Vogel going to call timeout. Going to try to figure out some things in that huddle. His team is down 16. On Dexter. Loses the ball again. That's the second time. They're going to allow Julian Stone there. 
to recover the ball. Gets it to Chalmers in the corner, able to knock down the three out of the timeout. Nurkic, top of the key. Now Simmons on the elbow. Kicks it out. Durant. Long shot. Doesn't go. Bounces around and out into the hands of Smith. Here's Chalmers. Recovering from an injury during the 2016-17 season. Was able to secure a spot with the Grizzlies. The last team he had played for before he was out of the league for a year. Orlando not able to score on that possession. Simmons going all the way to the bucket and scores. Simmons an efficient two for three so far. Decent off the attention from the other players. Smith, hook shot underneath. Nicely done. Durant handoff straight to the basket and good. Oh, Durant starting to get going. Josh Smith called for the foul there. One shot, gentlemen. And another and one opportunity secured for Kevin Durant. Hard to stop the defending finals MVP. 40 to 24. Back to a 16 point margin. Orlando just doing what they can to keep up and that'll help Azili just taking it straight to the paint. 40 to 26 and the road to get here has not been pretty as evidenced by those field goal percentages you just saw on your screen. Lillard, long shot is good. Stone, straight to the rack. Oh, can't complete the layup. Lillard, thinking about the step back three. Could he have made it? Could he have not? We'll never know. Gordon misses another three. He's had a rough night shooting so far. Walters back in the game. Trying to use a lot, utilize the Azili screen, but Simmons onto him. And now time's running out. Looks like an uh, Walter shot at the buzzer. Not on target. Durant handoff. Let's see how he operates here. Pulls up. Knocks it down from the top of the key. Lead extended to 19, and Kevin Durant already in double figures with 11. Zeely taking it to Nurkic. Simmons missing, collected by Stone. Chalmers missing the long shot. Post entry underneath it was easy to get it over Walters, but Durant not able to finish the shot. 
Under a minute now before the half. Orlando trying to close out on a high note. And another turnover by Orlando. Here comes Lillard. He'll pull up. Long range two, no good. And Chalmers there winning the rebound in sweepstakes. Under 30 seconds. Stay tuned for the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Have all the stats and highlights for you from this opening half where Golden State has taken control. Rebound by Gordon. Shot clock is off. Gordon in the corner. Can he hit this one? No. Rebound Chalmers, and that's how this half will end. So a very muddy first half offensively, but then Golden State got going, and Orlando didn't get the memo. 45-26 at the half. Golden State leading. We'll be back with more after this. Back in Oakland, this is we start off the second half, the final game of week one of the Novato Project. And Aaron Gordon starts off with a missed three-pointer. Durant cleaning up underneath, has 13, five rebounds and two assists. By far the best player in this game for either team. The Novato Project getting its name from a nearby town a suburb of the Bay Area called Novato, California. That is the home to 2K Sports. He develops this fine game. That will be bringing you all of this action all season long. Another miss for Orlando. Here's Golden State. And there goes Golden State as Simmons turns the ball over. All in the third turnover of the game. On Golden State, Orlando had six in the half in the first half. Pond Dexter, Pond Dexter facing up, gets it down to Bosch, taking advantage of the mismatch. And the post fade away finally works for Chris Bosch. Leading score for Orlando coming into this half was Mario Chalmers with eight. So that's a, a answer to the question of who will step up in the stead of Chris Bosch when he's out of the game. Chalmers can't get to his 10th point there. Durant step back on Pondexter and scores 15. Leads up to 21 now for Golden State. Bosch looking to get involved in the offense. Can't shoot over the outstretched hands of Aaron Gordon. Lillard going ISO. Kicks it over. Gordon. Two defenders there. Bosch was there and Azili were there, the two tallest guys for Orlando, and Gordon still able to knock it down. Chalmers, he has 11. So 
Mario Chalmers continues to be the leading scorer for Orlando. The only bright offensive spot here. Durant going to answer right back. Unbelievable. 18 points. Now with 9.20 left in the third. Golden State trying to run away with this one. This is Novato Project Basketball on the Crucial Baskets Network. 9.20 remaining in the third. This game is already out of hand. It's actually been a theme here in the first week. One team comes prepared to dominate, and the other one just can't keep up. Here's Bosch, turns around. Gee. Three pointer Lillard rattles out and out of bounds. Hasn't been his game, only eight points for him in the first half. Vander Blue comes into the game for Stone. Fourth shot no good by Larkin. And Tatum can't shoot the easy shot. Despite, despite the scoring discrepancy, Orlando's been able to keep up on the rebounding end. Just haven't been able to convert those rebounds into opportunities. There's Chris Bosch closing the gap to 22. Durant missing side rim. Larkin forces the shot up. Won't go. Luckily for him, misses on fouls. Do not count because he's already missed a lot of shots in this game already. Shots. Shane Larkin spent last season in Europe. Play, playing for Basconia, a legendary Euro League side from Spain. Really made quite the impression there, was able to pick up a contract this year with the Boston Celtics. And now he's uh, playing a role on their roster as they try to make waves in the Eastern Conference. Larkin really tried to make waves here in this opening game of the Novato Project, but it hasn't been good for him. Luckily, he was able to hit those two free throws. See if that can get him back on track. Still plenty of game left, but the lead looms large with Golden State ahead by 20. Cross-court pass McGee to Simmons and right back to Tatum. Now it's Lillard going up. Pass Bosch for the score. Lillard in double figures. Again, he had eight in the first half. And now he's on the board here in the second half. Larkin puts up the long two. Here's Lillard, long two of his own, and that won't go rebound by Blue. Blue nearly mishandles the exchange, but works around a Bosch screen. Up top Bosch, it's him against McGee. Gonna try to take him to the rack, 
And won't go. Rebound McGee. Interesting choice. McGee not known. Oh, hold that thought. There goes Jason Tatum for the slam. Found by Quincy Pondexter. Once Tatum got out on the run, I knew it was going to happen. I had to hold my thought because I knew Tatum was going to finish strong there. The rookie out of Duke. The native of the state of Missouri, particularly the St. Louis area. Players such as Ben McLemore and David Lee also hailing from that metropolitan area. Now here's Tatum. Up and in for the and one. Strong finish and closes the deal on the and one. Does Jason Tatum. I'll get back to my point about Chris Bosch after this timeout. 60 to 37, Warriors in control. 607 left in the third here on the Crucial Baskets Network. Bosch set to inbound for Orlando. He took on JaVale McGee one-on-one -on -one out on the perimeter, but chose to work his way inside and force the layup instead of having McGee, a center, try to face him head-on on the perimeter. McGee not known for holding out on the perimeter. Definitely more of a rim protector kind of guy. He hands it off to Blue this time, who can't score. And here comes Jason Tatum, charging ahead. It got him far last time, but he ends up nearly losing the ball. Luckily for him, it looks like it deflected off a of Bosch. So that'll go back to Golden State. 18 on the shot clock with the Warriors ahead by 23. More substitutions here. There's Dragic. Here's Kuzma facing up against Smith. Batum, pull up over Blue, no good. Sampson goes up, can't get the fourth shot against Tatum. Ahead, Dragic, corner three, no good. McGee, offensive rebound in the cleanup. Lead extended to 25. Larkin going inside. He has nine points, and he'll have to earn the two at the line. Orlando attacking inside. Been a, a boom or bust proposition. Sometimes it's just led to ugly force shots, as with the previous possession with Jakar Sampson, and sometimes it leads to getting to the line in the case of Shane Larkin. Shooting two. 4.45 remaining in the third. And Larkins knocks down the free throw. Lead back down to 23 for Golden State. Dragic in the corner, but Larkin there to meet him. Dragic gonna, who was thinking, post up there. Always interesting to see the guards post up. Oh, blocked by Bosch at the last minute. Dragic thought he had it on that post entry. Larkin nearly losing the ball into the corner. Walters, but it's Batum, the huge defensive size mismatch. And it gives Walters fits as he ends up being called for the charge. McGee working his way inside. Easy layup. Samson. Too far out of the way to recover in time. 
And McGee had the open lane. Smith up top free throw line jumper off the front of the rim. Ahead to Tatum. And that won't go. Almost. Jason Tatum taking on his teammate, Shane Larkin. Jalen Brown of the Lakers, another Celtic here in the Novato Project. Tatum has four points, five boards. Been very aggressive out here. It's been a pleasant sight to watch. And he's coming off the bench, which really will cause problems for teams moving forward. Second free throw won't go. Right off of the tip of the rim. 24 point game. Sampson waiting for the offense to develop. Out comes Bosch for the screen. Can't make anything out of it. Kicks it over. Larkin closed out on by Batum. Now he doesn't have a choice. Looks as bad as he thought it would. Pass ahead, Tatum. Probably could have went in with the slam, but McGee, a few inches ahead of him, Tatum just fine with that. Perfectly okay with pulling up for that jumper. Under three minutes now left in the third. Golden State has not taken a timeout this entire game. They've had no reason to. Walter is able to force the issue past Batum. Get the shot and the foul. Batum serving as a 6-7 shooting guard has been causing problems for a number of Orlando's two guards. But Walters that time finally getting the edge on Batum as he worked his way inside. Walters, the Minnesota native. Out of South Dakota State. One shot. Was a beast in college in the Summit League. But now he's... Kind of come back to the mean now that he's at the professional level. Currently under, under a two-way contract with the Utah Jazz. Seeing if he can make it a full contract, prove something to the NBA teams. Show that he still has it. After missing out 2016-17, he played in a number of places but ended the 2016-17 season in Serbia. Playing for the historic team Cervantes Vezda. Belgrade. 69-41. Sampson tried to navigate his way through the paint and loses the ball in the process. Sampson with limited range kind of didn't have a choice if he was going to be the one to score on that possession. Batum, skip pass to Tatum in the corner, sinks it. Seventy two forty one under two remain here in the third. Durant charging ahead into the front court finds Tatum again mid range shot won't go Nurkic offensive board and the second chance finish. Warriors field goal percentage returning back to normal seed magic. Just completely enduring a power outage. 27% from the field through nearly three quarters. Chalmers tries to make things better. Deficit back down to 30. Spiked there at 33. Tatum step back, trying to go to work here in the third quarter. 
He's gotten these extended minutes and they've been well earned. But the shots aren't quite falling over the past two possessions for Tatum. Walters going at Batum again. And the layup lofts in. Time running down. The attempted lob. Tatum only had time to go up and float it in. Tatum in double figures. Back to 30. There's Walters again. Kick out Chalmers. Chalmers to Bosch. He can't score. Blocked by Smith. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The lead only grows for Golden State ahead by 30 now, 76-46 after three. We'll see how things close out. It's Novato Project Basketball on the Crucial Baskets Network. Shrink the floor. When you're on the ball or close it out, close out faster. Okay, take away their airspace and then contain their drive. Welcome back to Oakland, 76-46. Game seems well out of hand, but Frank Vogel, he's not going to stop coaching this team. He's got a tall task ahead of him. Considering the type of team he's working with, made up solely of players that did not play in the league in 2016-17. And outside of someone like Chris Bosh, a lot of these guys were end-of-the-bench players who certainly have the talent to carve out a role in the league. Take a number break. of these players are either on, are either signed to teams or under two-way contracts, or in the case of Josh Smith, Smith already got a look this season. But otherwise, the talent definitely has a ceiling. Perry Jones into the game. He was on the Pelicans training camp roster, but ended up being cut in the preseason. Hasn't been in the NBA in several years now. They're trying to work his way back. Currently playing for the Iowa Wolves in the G League. All the back of the bench players, both for Orlando and for Golden State in the game. Corey Joseph into the game. The Canadian who played collegiately at Texas. You got Wesley Matthews out of Marquette. In the game, Jakob Hurdle, the Austrian, played collegiately at Utah. He's also in the game, making his Novato Project debut. And then just all new faces outside of Chalmers and Sampson. Kirk Felix in the game. He was with the Wizards, started off the season with them. And Eric Moreland slamming it down. He plays for the Pistons at the end of the bench for them. Kirk Felix. Uh, opened the season with the Wizards, ended up being cut after enduring an uh, injury. 29-point game. Aaron Gordon still in the game. We talked about the Warriors' connections in this game for the Warriors. JaVale McGee, Kevin Durant didn't need to change jerseys for the Nevada Project, but some hometown connections as well. You have Aaron Gordon, who is from San Jose, several miles down the highway here. And you have Dam Damian Lillard, who's from right here in Oakland. Chalmers missing, but able to collect the offensive board. Eventually, it's Samson, but Moreland also there with the hustle. Orlando trying to create some offense. Bosch probably not coming back into the game unless it gets close again. So the back of the bench having to figure things out. Here's Batum. Inside for the two-handed jam. Oh. 
Oh, loses the ball. Trying to work with the Moreland screen. And Sampson going to have to force up the shot. No good for the swing man out of St. John's. Joseph in the corner. Chalmers there to meet him. Works around a Pirtle screen. Can't create enough separation on the drive. Matthews kicks it over. Gordon jumper bounces around and out. Almost. Not a lot has been falling for Gordon. Or for Gordon. It's been a rough day for him. Shooting. But there's still plenty of games left in this season, so you likely won't see a good man being kept down. Jones can't get the shot. Batum finds an open Gordon. There's his range. The jump shots haven't been falling for Aaron Gordon at an efficient enough rate, but Gordon, he's good at getting inside. He was able to get the layup before the defense could recover. Samson puts up the shot and in. So Samson trying to make himself the go-to guy here in garbage time. Chalmers facing up against Pirtle. Loses the ball off the screen into the hands of Joseph. And it's the Warriors with numbers. Here's Wesley Matthews, the Wiley veteran, using his smarts to draw the foul. Wesley Matthews currently playing for the Mavericks. Fantastic two-way player his entire career. Definitely could have been in the rotation for Golden State, but that's just how stacked the Warriors roster is here in the Novato Project. Can't hit the first free throw. Sampson will take a breather. We'll see if he returns. Chalmers will as well as Larkin, Blue, Larkin and Blue come into the game. Felix now at small forward. Kuzma's also been waiting to come into the game. And here we are. 0 for 2 from the line is Wesley Matthews. If this was on the road, I'm sure that those home fans would have got something for that. But just a, a little mini heartbreak for Warriors fans in this case. Vander Blue able to score from just off the block. Kuzma on the elbow, takes it past Felix, who's able to make the stop and collect the rebound. Now Blue driving, pulls up, heel of the rim into the hands of McGee. Kuzma chucks up a three-pointer, why not? Game's back to 30. in the corner pulls up that one off target I guess he was looking to use the glass Moreland can't put it back and the rest of the offense will leave him here comes Matthews laying it up and in lead extending to 32 there was a time when neither of these teams could get anything going in the first quarter and now Orlando's third string is looking to run away with this. 
Another turnover for Orlando. Matthews still trying to force his way in the paint, but it's Joseph wide open for the long two, and he can't finish it off. Golden State really got going in the second quarter and haven't been able to stop since then. That's been a common story here throughout the week. And while this week's batch of games may not have been the most entertaining, you got to take a look at those teams that did the blowing out. Shot goes up and in after some hesitance. Kyle Kuzma able to knock it down 90 to 58. That was a time where I was wondering here in the booth if we were going to see either team crack 100, but Golden State not having a problem with that at all. Just under five minutes, and they have 90 points, and they're looking to tack on more. Another three for Kuzma. He's hot right now. Orlando was already having trouble stopping Golden State's offense in the second and third quarter, and now they have to deal with a, a third string player or Kuzma's in the rotation but a bench player getting hot now with their third string guys in the game another miss for Orlando Matthews trying to push tempo nearing the four minute mark here in the fourth quarter Matthews step back off the back down and he knocks down the shot and the Warriors on a late game run here. Just adding salt to the wound for Orlando. 37 point game. Opportunity to make it an even 40 if they make the stop and get a three. Rejected by McGee. Here comes Golden State. Trying to run this up. Kuzma in transition, a little too strong. Here's Blue to Larkin. Looking for the Moreland screen. Joseph anticipates it. Larkin stuck. Not a lot of time left. Goes up, draws the foul from McGee. 11 for Larkin. Gonna go to the line to add on. And see if he can stem this tide. Things really have gotten out of control here in the fourth. Margin nearing 40. As Kyle Kuzma really got hot here, trying to prove his worth off of the bench. Gentlemen, two shots. So two to recap, shots. this first week of Novato Project Basketball, Los Angeles and New York opened things up to start the season on Thursday. Lakers getting the blowout 107-74. Friday, it was Minnesota over Houston 111-85. Yesterday, a grind-out game. Chicago and Miami. Miami getting the 94-81 victory. And now today, looks like it's going to be another blowout. But if you look at the Lakers and the Timberwolves and the Heat and the Warriors and how good they were and how polished they look in this first week, you have to imagine how they're going to look when the two teams face off because everyone plays each other. The in-conference opponents go home and away, but everybody does play each other for a 10 game season. You do want to know how things will shape up when the dominant teams this week actually go against each other. Speaking of which, coming up next week, Golden State will be on the road in week two. On Thursday, they'll be in Chicago for the Bulls home opener. Meanwhile, on Friday, the next day, it'll be these Magic at home for their home opener. Looking for better days against New York. Two teams that have end-of-the-bench players coming from overseas with experience overseas who have not fared well this week. We'll see how things shape up there in Orlando on Friday. And then the week closes out. Minnesota and Los Angeles on Saturday. That should be a lot of fun. Minnesota with their huge lineup taking on the Lakers and their all-star caliber players and their high-flying antics. And then the week will close out Houston in Miami to take on the Heat. So be sure to check that out on the Crucial Baskets YouTube channel as well as 
picking up on all the information, previews, recaps, features, updates at CrucialBaskets.com. Larkin knocking down the three. Magic just fighting to avoid a 40-point loss. Really all they can do at this point. The other teams that have befallen unfortunate fates have been able to do that so far this season. Missed by Batum. Fires died down here for Golden State after a huge surge there led by Kuzma. But it was also on the defensive end. Great stops by Corey Jeff Joseph and, uh, and Wesley Matthews. Now here's JaVale McGee. Called for his fourth. Usually you'd have a problem with your center having four fouls, but with 120 left in the game, uh, I think Steve Kerr is not really going to bat an eyelash at that. Warriors just trying to get to 100 here. And they have a chance to get to 99. Here's Corey Joseph floating in the layup off of the steal. Another stop for him. So we'll see if they can get to 100. Orlando, they are to not score again. This would be the lowest point total from anybody this week. Or actually, it looks like that ship will already sail regardless, even if they score again. As they have only been able to muster up 63 points. Batum, turn around. No good. Put back by McGee is. And there we are. Golden State past the century mark. Third team to do that this week. As Miami was only able to recover from a rough offensive first quarter to score 94. 38 point game. Blue can't finish the shot. A couple more possessions left here in this game. 101-63. Orlando trying to avoid the 40 piece. Gonna have to stop Joseph. Pulls up, and it's a 40-point game. 12 seconds remaining, and now Orlando going to try to make the box score look respectable. Can they score on this possession? Will they attempt to score on this possession? And they will let the clock run out. Golden State ran away with this early and never looked back. They end up getting the 103-63 victory. Huge night for Kevin Durant. He came in, dominated, and then was able to sit down the entire fourth quarter. And that'll do it for week one of Novato Project Basketball. Glad that you could join us for all four games. We'll have another four-pack for you next week. Be sure to follow, to subscribe to the Crucial Baskets YouTube channel. And be sure to check out CrucialBaskets.com for all the latest information on Novato Project Basketball and any other happenings in the actual National Basketball Association in the basketball world. So that'll do it here from Oakland. I'm Raymond Sims. We thank you for watching this huge Warriors win. The final score from Oakland, 103-63. Have a wonderful week, everyone.